Here on the uh, Prairie Orchard on July 27th, as we've mentioned before, our orchard is set in to an actual prairie setting. This is not a monocultural environment. We want to support pollinators of all types through the entire year. Um, I want to show you one of the plants we have here in our prairie, which is of interest. Um, this is pale Indian plantain. Pale Indian plantain is a plant of the eastern tall grass prairie. It's a member of the aster family. It grows from three to five feet tall, but the specimens on our property have been growing about six feet tall. I'm not sure what that means. Um, they stand out um, higher than the rest of the flora in midsummer with a very pretty white bloom at the top. Uh, the stem is characterized by alternate leaves that start out very broad at the bottom um, and they get progressively smaller. These leaves are white underneath and actually have a nice green surface on the top. The stem itself is also interesting. It has a powdery white appearance on top of maroon. You can wipe the powder off. The leaves on top are white, cylindrical in shape, quite pretty, not terribly fragrant. Um, and they open up in canopies that are somewhat flat um, at the uh, facing up to the sky. As I said, we're lucky to have these specimens right here in um, the southern apple section of our prairie um, orchard. This is an apple tree sitting right next to them. Here in the back prairie, away from the orchards, we have uh, two specimens of pale Indian plantain uh, standing high above the rest of the flora here in the prairie. Uh, midsummer, they do stand out um, along with prairie dock. Um, but later on, uh, some of the plants, many of which you see here in the foreground, uh, for example, the big blue stem catch up and uh, pass the height of the uh, pale Indian plantain. Uh, the other uh, plant that grows uh, to this height or higher is prairie dock.